What's going on, y'all? Let me turn this down a little bit. What's going on, y'all? It's your girl. When I say I've been having the roughest week and a half of my life. First of all, it's something about this damn rain that is wreaking havoc on my body. I don't know if y'all can tell, but you see my joints or whatever are a bit swollen. Um, it seems like every morning for the past week, I've been waking up <clears throat> stiff as a board, you know, barely able to walk. My feet are hurting, it's mild inflammation around my ankles, just all out feeling like I got hit by a bus. And I don't know how many people out there have experienced that. Like, it's so many things within this diagnosis. I'm so new to the game, but it's so many things that go along with this. And um, I'm just kind of like, you know, it's it's all about figuring out process. It's almost like when you get pregnant for the first time. Your body's trying to figure itself out. It has a lot going on. Not only does this shit make you extra tired, but... um. Just the fact that I have to figure out ways to cope with the pain. Um, I went to the doctor yesterday. Like, it was a last-minute thing. And I was so surprised that she was able to see me. But it was such a last-minute thing. Um, I was on my way to work, and then that's when they worked me in. And I told them I could come. I was getting off. I worked a very short shift from, like, 9.30 to 2.15. So, um, they could fit me in at 3. So, from... My job to the doctor's office is less than 10 minutes. So it wasn't like I was going to be super late, but it was already a drag because I don't know. It's just like yesterday when I came in, I know I was walking so slow and one of the managers asked me if I was all right. And I try to educate people as much as I can. I know y'all hear me rant on here and I don't expect everybody to know what lupus is. Like, don't get me twisted. When I rant on here, it's just out of pure frustration because I feel like, um, like, I'm not going to sit here and act like I just, you know, was so dead set about researching lupus before I got it. You know what I'm saying? But, or before I was diagnosed. But the thing is, you after a while you feel like you're repeating yourself all the time when people ask questions. And I'm like, you know, you just need to Google it. Because there's no, whatever explanation I give you, you're still not going to really understand. You're still not going to get it. And it's already frustrating to go through. So it's even more frustrating when you have to explain to somebody who don't otherwise understand. Um, but this rain has really taken a toll on me. And it's, it's, oh my God, it's just like a task. Like, I almost hate going to bed at night because I have so much discomfort when I go to sleep. Um, I know when I was pregnant with Moops, um, I had sciatica. And that was my first time ever dealing with that. I had sciatica, and we already know that your body changes as the baby grows, whatever, because when it's time to have the baby, your hips, like literally your hips come out of socket. Yes, they do. They separate. You know, you can look this up on any whatever. Um, they separate in preparation for the baby or whatever because with your hips locked in place, it's just no possible way. Um, that the baby could pass through without breaking your hips, you know what I'm saying, without breaking the bone or whatever. So your body has to allow itself to to get in position for when the baby comes. So when it separates, it's like my joints are already out of whack. So it just seems like the sciatica and stuff just didn't make it any better. And I went to physical therapy for all that stuff. But, I mean, physical therapy is only a brief fix. It It really doesn't do much, you know what I'm saying? It just stretches the muscles, which otherwise you wouldn't really move. Because when you're in pain, you try, to, you try to do as less movement as possible. But when I'm in that physical state, when I get up in the morning, <clears throat> and I know I'm feeling like that, um, I try to move about as much as I can, try to exercise as much as I can, because I feel like if I stay stagnant in that, that position, my my joints are just going to lock up, you know, because that's what they can do sometimes. Um, I know when, as it got closer time for me to have her, you know, my hips, it almost felt like they were kind of like sitting on top of each other, like it was bone on bone. And that's kind of how it's reminiscent to that now, you know, like it's, it's kind of feel like what's happening right now. And it sucks, you know, to um, have that feeling because I'm a left side sleeper. Um, I don't know if y'all know this, but left sleeping on your left side creates better circulation or whatever, and the breathing um, is better. Um, 
I forgot why they said, but it, it's true, though, because whenever Mr. J get to snoring and calling the hogs, honey, I make his ass flip on his uh, left side because it cuts that, that noise down to a minimum. Like I'm telling y'all, if you have somebody that you sleep with at home, make them sleep on their left side. I tell you, you're going to hear a big difference, a major difference. But um, I know y'all know I had added in my video yesterday that was it yesterday or the other day whenever I posted, um, I added krill oil to my um, regimen or whatever. Now, I know clearly it's not going to be an overnight success. However, I'm, again, trying to figure out different things to do that's going to help cut back on this medicine that I'm taking. Because one thing we know about medicine is that it can be highly addictive. And you can grow a heavy dependency on that because that'll be the only way you start coping with the pain. Um, I don't do narcotics, you know, just for my own personal reasons. I just prefer not to, you know. Um, they do create dependency. However, for me, um, I feel like if I can just grin and bear the pain as much as possible without having to rely on the aid of a pain reliever, I try to do my best, you know, or by using a cold compress, a heat and compress. And the doctor even told me that she was like, she didn't want to tell me to get an electric blanket, being that the weather, you know, supposedly the seasons are about to change. But sometimes I can get cold still. You know, I wrap up under the comforter that comes with my bed set and a uh, extra blanket that we usually sleep under on the bed anyway. And I try to wrap up as tightly as possible and try to... um keep my body as covered up and my arms like my arms don't stretch out the way they used to um for a second I thought I was not putting it on myself but I thought I was showing signs of osteoporosis I don't know why I think because my joints you know going through this with my joints like even though it's been a year and a half y'all it it really 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 takes time to just deal people deal with things in their own way um, sometimes it takes people even longer to cope with the fact that they have to, that they have, um, a disease at all. Um, is, is for me, I've, I'm dealt with the fact, I believe that I have lupus, but I think the physical aspects of it are the part that is hard for me to get used to because not this whole first year was like this, you know, yeah, I had my own and off days or whatever, but it was never to this extent. And this rain, oh my God, I think we have a tropical storm or something nearby. And I'm right here in Greenville, South Carolina, which is considered like upstate or whatever, because <clears throat> it's not too far from the border. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it's one of those things that, um, you know, when you're living in a state that's bordered by water, you tend to get the aftermath a lot of the time of like tropical storms and hurricanes and stuff. Like we might not necessarily have had a hurricane here but you do get the aftermath, which entails a lot of rain and stuff. And as you can see, it's starting to brighten up. But I think later on, it's supposed to rain again. And so it's like when it, you know, when the um, pressure outside in the atmosphere, because environment has a lot to do with, you know, illnesses and stuff like that. Like when people, their allergies and stuff like that is piling all over the place. Even when the rain comes down and tries to wash everything away, you know, some people are still getting over like, pre-summer colds and all this other stuff like it's a lot of germs out here excuse me out here my best bet is that i'm just trying to monitor everything i put into my body um hence me doing the pescatarian lifestyle you know i'm still trying to figure all that part you know all those out like you don't just go into something overnight and have it all figured out you know because life is not figured out overnight um you just try to deal with it as you go but yeah, y'all, I um, just want to make this video just to express how painful it has been for me this past week and a half or whatever. And with all this continuous rain, like I'm just ready for the rain to stop so I can at least get some kind of relief. Um, I'm taking the Meloxicam, it's 15 milligrams. I'm supposed to take it once daily. She said to take it at night or whatever, but I ended up having to take two last night and I still didn't have any relief this morning. So I don't know what it is. I'm going to try and hit them up through the app thing because I'm not trying to give up another 50 damn dollars for a copay just for her to write me a prescription or something she can send electronically or just for her to tell me that it's the outside, you know, and that's the thing too. They'll tell you that it has nothing to do with the lupus, and it might not, because even before I was diagnosed with lupus, I used to have issues all the time when it'd be rainy and cold, and my knees just from, like, 
old military issues, you know, um, they would start getting real tight and start, you know, start hurting and stuff like that. But at the same time, you know that under no other circumstances would you be feeling like this had this not been for the disease. So that's another thing. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I have a great rheumatologist or whatever, and she's not one of those ones that'll let you play into it. However, my thing is I know my body better than anybody in this world. You know what I'm saying? Even a doctor that practice medicine is because they're not experts. They're practicing, you know, which means they're not always going to have it right themselves. And whether she has lupus or not, she still can't tell me how my body is feeling regularly, you know, on a regular basis. And as of like a, the last week or so, it's just been going crazy on me. I've been feeling like I've been hit simultaneously by 10 trucks, you know, 10 Mack trucks at that. And it's just an uncomfortable feeling, you know, and I don't like discomfort. I make that clear all the time. I don't like pain. I don't like discomfort. You know, unfortunately, this has become a part of my life, but I know that there are ways that you can, you know, ways that you can work around it. But, um down below and let me know um what it is that y'all do you know for your pain or what's up like I said in the last video you know what supplements do you take um I still need to order my black seed oil or whatever because I heard that thing works wonders I've not heard one bad thing about it and I need to jump on it I don't know if I'm gonna take the capsules or if I'm gonna use the oil itself you know straight from the bottle but um I need to jump on it ASAP because this pain, this discomfort is just not the business. It really isn't. I don't wish this on my worst enemy. I don't wish this on my best friend, you know? But all right, y'all. Just wanted to rant a little bit. Excuse his head, child. I had to comb and detangle and wash last night, and we already know. Uh oh. The natural struggle is real. All right. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Don't forget to like, um, share. And I will see y'all at the next video. All right, peace.